Health Nuts, I'm Nicole and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited about today's video because I'm doing not only another what I eat in a day video, but I'm gonna focus today's video and all the things that I'm eating on what I like to eat for my anxiety. You guys may know that I have struggled and dealt with anxiety for years, mainly the good portion of my mid 20s was like the really struggling part and time of my life. And I read so many books and I tried so many things to see if food would really affect how I felt. And I felt like I just found what worked for me. And I just wanna say like, by no means am I a doctor. You obviously should go see a health professional. I'm just gonna share with you guys foods that make me feel really good and kind of help reduce my stress levels and manage my anxiety just a little bit because I do think that there is a correlation with food and your mental health. They say your gut is your second brain. So I do believe that food affects how you feel and your mood and all of that. It's just like, if you're to go eat fast food every day, you're obviously not gonna to feel as great as if you ate a nice big salad every day for lunch. So in today's video, I'm so excited to be working with Cathlib again. They are sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. You guys know I've been talking about Cathlib herbal coffee for years. I've been drinking them for years. It's one of the things that has helped with my anxiety. Taking out caffeine entirely from my diet and lifestyle has been a game changer. I personally just feel like if you have anxiety or you're just a really stressed out person, removing something that's very stimulating like caffeine can maybe really help lower your stress and anxiety levels. It's definitely worth a try. It has really helped for me. And having something like Calf Lib Herbal Coffee has been really great because I can still enjoy a nice cup of coffee without the negative effects that I personally did not jive well with. It also tastes like the real thing. It's made with all natural ingredients like roasted barley and chicory, things that you can feel good about putting into your body. And I'm gonna be showing you guys a fun little recipe that I like to make with it. It's actually in the cookbook. That's how much I love herbal coffee. It's in my cookbook. All right, without further ado, let's hop right into the video and I'm gonna show you guys what I like to eat in a day to support my anxiety and mental health. So I've said this before, but green smoothies are one of the things that have just made me feel so much better in the mornings and throughout the day. I love to get a bunch of greens, fiber, healthy fats, and protein into my day right off the bat. So one of my smoothie rules that I like to stick by is to always make sure that there's more vegetables than fruit in my smoothies. That way the sugar content is lower. And then I also just make sure that it's a well-balanced meal, just like any other meal that I eat, just because this one is an easy drinkable one, I still wanna make sure that it has all of the nutrients that I want for my breakfast. If you are completely new to the green smoothie world, I actually have a free how to make the perfect green smoothie downloadable, which I will have linked down below for you. To me, I treat my smoothies like a multivitamin in the glass. And in my opinion, it's one of the best ways to squeeze, or in this case, blend as many nutrient dense foods as you can. And it makes it really easy to drink them down because it's all in one easy glass. A good blender is key. I will link the one I'm using down below as well as a very budget friendly option that I used for years and highly recommend as well. So just finished making my green smoothie, which I put it in the to-go cup because I'm gonna take it with me while I take Miss Cashew for her walk who is whining. I don't know if you can hear her, um, but we're gonna go for a little walk. It's gorgeous, super sunny outside, and this is really light, so even when I'm done it, I feel like it's not this like heavy container I have to carry with me. So, okay, she's whining. I'm gonna go drink this, take her for a walk, and I will see you guys back here um, for my next meal or drink. All right, so it is late morning, and I'm feeling like a little drink. Sometimes I make my herbal coffee first thing in the morning, but this morning I was really hungry and I wanted to take cashew for a walk. So I was like, it's okay, I'm gonna make my coffee when I get back. Otherwise I make it and I just like drink half of it and it gets cold. But today, actually it wouldn't even matter because I am making my iced dirty chai, what is it called? Iced dirty chai coffee on the rocks. I, I cannot remember every single recipe in my book. There's a lot. This one here is made with a chai cashew milk that takes minutes to make in your blender. And then you're gonna pour it on top of ice with some calf lib herbal coffee. It is so good and I'm just like craving that. Like how good does that look? You guys have not tried this recipe, it's delicious. So I'm just feeling like a nice iced drink. Spring is around the corner. I feel like it's that time of year where like, I don't want anything hot. I just want nice 
cool refreshing drinks i'm just trying to bring in like the warmer weather a little sooner if you, if you get my drift so i'm gonna make that it's really easy and then the nice thing is when you make the uh, chai cashew milk it'll be enough for your drink that you're making right now but you can also store it in the fridge and then have it throughout the week you can put it in your smoothies you can put it in your oatmeal it is very multi-purpose and i love whipping up a batch so i'm gonna do that now Let's do this. I'm starting off by making a chai cashew milk. This is the easiest homemade milks you can make. It is just made with some chai spices, dates to sweeten it. I really look for natural sweeteners when I'm sweetening anything that I make in the kitchen. It also has blended up whole raw cashews, which are so good for you, filled with lots of nutrients and anything that has healthy fats. And I like that this milk is sweet, yet it has a nice balance of fiber and healthy fats from the cashews. Now this would be delicious as is, but I'm gonna make it super fancy and I'm gonna make it with my Calf Lib Herbal Coffee. Now this is their organic blend. They have a regular blend, a dark roast blend. Now the key to making a good cup of herbal coffee is to go heavy on the ground. So it's not like regular coffee where we just do a teaspoon. I usually do a good heaping two tablespoons of the instant herbal coffee when I'm making it. And one of the things I love about Calf Lib and it's probably the reason why I've been drinking them for so long is not only is the taste amazing and it really reminds me of the real deal without any of the unwanted side effects like jitters and not being able to sleep at night but it's also just so accessible i can find this at pretty much any grocery store and it's really affordable i love that it's just easy to stock up on just listen to that Oh, it smells so good. Honestly, because I can't go to just like a Starbucks drive-thru and order a fancy drink, making things like this at home makes me so happy. And you got like the healthy fats and protein from the cashew milk, the spices that are so warming and just delicious. And it's just naturally sweetened. You just use dates. And that's a big thing for my anxiety is using natural sweeteners like maple syrup, honey, dates and coconut sugar that don't spike my blood sugar as much and I just find they you end up craving them even more than like the artificial process stuff and I've just been incorporating them into my recipes and baked goods for like years now I just like crave them and I really do enjoy them and I think they taste better than the artificial stuff so this is amazing I'm gonna enjoy this while I do some work and I will see you guys back here for lunch oh my and nice thing is, is like I have all this extra cashew milk that I'm just gonna pop the lid on and pop it into the fridge. Now I needed to get some ingredients, so I decided to head out to my local bulk barn. Now you guys know one of my goals for 2020 is to produce less waste and reduce single use plastic. So I actually love reusing my jars and just upcycling them like this empty Calf Lib coffee jar and using it when I go to bulk food stores. Because what you end up doing is you fill things up in one of their plastic bags and you go home and you transfer it to a jar anyway. So just bring the jars with you. Just make sure that they are clean and dry and then all you have to do is weigh them with the cashier. They will mark the weight on top of the lid and they will subtract that when you are checking out. It's actually really easy. So if you think it's complicated, just try it out. Maybe go at a time where it's not that busy. And I promise it's really easy. I've done this at a few different stores now. And I feel like the employees actually get excited when you do this method. Next, I'm gonna show you a nourish bowl. I love making nourish bowls because you can prep all the ingredients on a Sunday and make a large batch of them and then just put everything together when you wanna make your meal. I'm first just slicing some organic sweet potatoes into some like round medallions. I really like doing it this way because they roast up really quick. I'm saving the ends for my pup, Miss Cashew, because she loves sweet potato almost as much as I do. I'm dressing it with some olive oil, sea salt, and black pepper, and some garlic powder. I like to keep it really simple, and then I'm just gonna give them a quick massage to make sure everything's well coated, and then just throw this into the oven to roast. 
Like I said, making this Nourish Bowl is not something I make on the fly, Monday through Friday when I'm busy working. It's something that I like to make a big batch of and then you can easily make these for lunch or dinner. And the great thing is too, is that they are well-rounded in all of your key nutrients and you can swap up the different ingredients. You could do cauliflower instead of broccoli and having a meal like this that has lots of vegetables, healthy fats and fiber just really helps balance my blood sugars and just keeps my anxiety at bay because I don't feel like I'm spiking anything and it just keeps me nice and full and satisfied. I'm also preparing some kale. So for this, I just like to remove the leaves from the stem. Give it a good wash. And then I'm just gonna dry it using my salad spinner. This is one of those gadgets that you think you don't need and then when you have one, it just makes preparing greens or salads so much easier. And especially for a salad, your dressing actually sticks to the leaves when they're not soaking wet. Transferring that into a bowl and then one little hack that I love to do is just taking a pair of kitchen scissors and then just going right in and chopping it up. I just need this really like roughly chopped. So this is just like a really quick way to do it. To finish preparing this, I'm just gonna massage it with some olive oil and a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. I like to massage my greens because it just makes it easier to digest and it just also tastes better, I find. It takes out any bitterness. And once it's massaged, it will last in your fridge for the entire week. You can add it to salads, stir fries, soups. Like even when it's massaged, you can still cook it. It just makes it easier to eat it raw like this. For my protein of choice, I'm having some rainbow trout. I love to have oily fish like trout or salmon. I think they are so good for you. They have all those healthy omega-3s. I personally believe that for my individual body and mental health that I really benefit from some animal protein or fish. And it's just something that I feel like is good for me to include into my day, into my week. I don't need to have it with every single meal, but it's definitely something that I feel better when I include it in. And then of course, we're gonna add some nice healthy fats. Avocado is so good for you. So I'm just gonna slice up some fresh avocado right on top. And then if you don't have one of these avocado huggers, I actually sell this on my online wellness shop. They're amazing. Your avocados will stay fresh for like three to four days in the fridge. So if you don't use a full avocado like me in one sitting, you can store the rest for later and know it's still gonna survive. And there you have it. This is such a nourishing, satisfying nourish bowl that is gonna make you feel really good and it has, like I said, all of the really like key components to a well-balanced meal. I love a good sweet treat, just like the next person, um, but when it comes to dessert and baked goods, I really like to make them at home because I can control the sugar, use natural sweeteners that don't spike my blood sugar, and they're just way less processed and I don't feel as jittery after I eat them. So this recipe here is my fudgy peanut butter cookies, also from my cookbook. They're so good. There's something so satisfying about peanut butter. I could eat these every day. They're so good. And they honestly take like five minutes to whip up. You just mix it all in a bowl. I have peanut butter, eggs, vanilla, maple syrup for sweetness. For flowers, I like to use less processed ones and ones that are more from whole grains or ancient grains. So this one here is just oat flour and it's just, you can even make it at home or buy it, but it's just one ingredient and I just love using it in recipes like these cookies. Once the batter is well combined, pop it into the freezer to chill. And then once it's chilled and the dough is a little bit easier to handle, you can just scoop it and roll it up into balls. And then of course the classic fork dentation to make them look like classic peanut butter cookies is the key crucial last step before they bake up. Here they are out of the oven, so good. Now we all know refined sugars and processed foods is not good for our mental health. So just making more of that stuff at home where you can make it a little bit healthier is so important and I think it just really supports a healthy mindset and lifestyle. I'm also enjoying it with a mug of chamomile tea. I love chamomile tea, it's very relaxing and I like to have it in the afternoon just to have a warm drink with my cookies. All right, so for dinner, we are getting super cozy. I'm making one of mine and Matt's 
favorite soup and it's so easy like it's crazy how easy it is it's a potato and leek soup and you guessed it you need potatoes and you need leeks and they are just such simple ingredients but when combined they make the best soup ever I don't know about you, but anytime a recipe calls for like two cloves of garlic, I pretty much triple that. So all my soup recipes usually have a lot of garlic. I like to even add more than what I recommend in my own recipes. I'm also chopping up some onion. And then for the potatoes, I'm just leaving the skins on. These are organic potatoes. I like to buy organic and just keep things really easy and leave the skin on. Plus it's added fiber and nutrients. There's actually a lot of nutrients in the skin. So feel free to leave that on. I always have my compost nearby just to throw in any veggie scraps into. Large pot, heat olive oil, add leeks, onion, garlic, and saute. Just sauteing everything up in some olive oil just to get everything really fragrant. Adding in a dried bay leaf from my Vovoz farm in Portugal, sea salt and black pepper, and then just a bouillon cube. I always like to have these on hand. I always get the no added salt because otherwise they get really salty. And then just filling it up with some water. So while that's coming up to a boil and cooking, I'm gonna prepare a little bruschetta or how, bruschetta, I don't know, that's how I say it. So for this recipe, I have lots of garlic once again. I got some nice vine ripe tomatoes that I'm just gonna chop up. I also have some fresh basil. I think people don't use fresh herbs enough. I always like to have fresh thyme, basil, oregano, or like cilantro or parsley in the fridge. And I'll just think of reasons to add it into my dishes before they go bad. It's like a game I play. And they are just so good for you. They have so many amazing nutrients in them. And I think that they add a lot of flavor without adding like excess oil and salt into your foods. I'm adding in a good squeeze of lemon juice, sands the seeds, finishing it off with some olive oil, sea salt, and black pepper. As you can tell, I am not afraid of some good quality olive oil in my cooking and in my diet. I'm just gonna set that aside in the fridge while the soup finishes up. Just removing the dried bay leaf, and then I'm just ladling it into my blender to blend up and get nice and creamy. So to prepare the bruschetta, I have some sourdough bread that I got from a local farmer's market. And then I'm just gonna spread on some soft goat cheese. I love soft goat cheese, it's so good. It's really good on like pizza or in salads, but in this case, it was such a good combination with the tomato and garlic topping. I'm going a little fancy and I'm adding on some lemon zest. You don't have to go this far, but it was a really nice pop of flavor. I'm gonna spoon on that mixture with the tomatoes and the basil and the garlic. Matt doesn't even like tomatoes and he loved this. He was asking for seconds the next day because this mixture was good for two days and he said he really liked it. So thank you, Matt, for the compliment. And dinner is ready. I'm just spooning that delicious creamy leek and potato soup into some bowls with the bruschetta on the side that I just toasted up in the oven. This is such a cozy, delicious meal. And when it comes to just supporting my mood and my mental health, like I just look for things that make me feel good when I eat them. And this was definitely one of those meals. I'm drizzling on some truffle oil because I had some on hand and it just makes everything delicious. Like I said, I am not afraid of oils and healthy fats. 
and this was so good. Highly recommend making this combo. You will not regret it. All right, health nuts, there you have it. That is my what I eat in a day for anxiety and just supporting my mental health. As I mentioned, everyone is different. I am not a doctor, so always consult with a health professional, especially if you're dealing with something serious, get help, seek a professional. I cannot stress that enough. It really does help to have someone to talk to. Um, keeping it all in is like the worst thing that you can do. So I hope this video just helped give you some, like just little guidance and fun little tips, maybe foods that you can try in your own personal life to support your health goals, whether that be mental health or just feeling good and energized throughout the day without coffee. I think these recipes are really fun, delicious and healthy. I'm going to have all of the recipes linked down below in my info box, as well as the herbal coffee drink that I made is actually in my cookbook, which will be linked down below. It's filled with so many delicious recipes, super easy. A lot of them are under 30 minutes. And so many of you guys have already told me you gotten copy, which is so cool to always see your recipe recreations on Instagram stories. So keep them coming. I see every single one. I like to reshare them and like them. And it just means the world when you guys remake my recipes. Also, just another huge thanks to Calf Lib for sponsoring this video. It is a dream come true to be able to work with such an amazing Canadian company and one that I have used in my everyday life for years. And it has honestly made the biggest difference into helping reduce my anxiety and just making me feel like I'm not left out in the coffee culture. So thanks again. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, you can click that red subscribe button down below. It's completely free and I post here every single week. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.